And what about this thing of, hey, come on, let's cheer up. Let's, let's look at the bright side. There's no bright side when you're going through depression. There's no cheering up, snapping out of it. It just, there's no quick fix or instant solution. From New Life Ministries, this is Going Deeper with Stephen Arterburn. I'm Stephen Arterburn. And Going Deeper is all about taking the tough issues, the hard issues of life, looking a little bit deeper inside so that we can gain some insight into our lives. Hi there, Steve Arterburn here. I want to talk to you about things not to say to depressed people. Now, number one requirement in dealing with a depressed person is to actually care about that person. If you don't care about that person, don't be around that person. Don't say anything to that person. You see what I'm saying? That, you know, whenever Jesus would meet someone, he didn't start spewing out things that were unhealthy or unhelpful. He really cared about people, no matter what situation they were in. Up a tree, at a well, you name it. He, he had healing things that he would say. And so I just want to get you to take a look at, you know, why is it that maybe I don't feel compassion for this person? Now, let me let you off the hook a little bit here. If you're a caregiver over and over, day after day, giving care to someone and they're depressed all the time, you are going to be angry. You're going to be irritable. You're going to take it out on them if you're not getting support yourself, if you're not in a caregiver support group, getting counseling yourself, then you're going to be at, we could say, wit's end, and you're going to say stuff that's not helpful. You're going to do things that really are destructive. So I want to encourage you that if all of that love and compassion is shut down and you're a constant caregiver to someone, get help for yourself. Here would be three things that would be coming out of your mouth if you weren't very helpful. Come on, you gotta snap out of this. Now what, are you coaching a football team here? What do you, um, you think Newt Rockney's gonna be the one that's gonna get this person out of depression, get them out of the depression? No, you must not do this, please. There's no snapping out of it. What you need to do is snap out of your stupidity. How about that? You snap out of that and then you can move in to compassion. I'll tell you, if, if you're, anybody's depressed, it's telling them to snap out of it. Imagine this. Uh, there's a, a very tall mountain, and flowing down that mountain, very thick molasses, black molasses. It's nighttime. Everything's dark. You can't even see in front of you. Imagine you're the one in the molasses. There's a mountain. It's dark. It's scary. And somebody is at the top of the mountain saying, hurry, come on, get up here. You can't do it because all these, this molasses, you can't get a handle on anything to pull yourself up. Nothing makes sense. It's all frustration. And about an hour after effort, you're still at the bottom. See, that's what it's like to be depressed. You just can't move. So there's no snapping out of it. I think maybe a, another really uh, tough one is, is when people will say things like, come on, uh, you got to get over this. That's like saying snap out of it. Well, of course they want to get over this, except for in the instance of what we would call learned helplessness, where a person is taken on the role of victim and they're using that to manipulate other people and be taken care of. Boy, if that's the situation, they may be in that learned helplessness mode because you've enabled them to get there. You get some help. You might find that that enables you to help them better. And what about this thing of, hey, come on, let's cheer up. Let's, let's look at the bright side. There's no bright side when you're going through depression. There's no cheering up, snapping out of it. It just, there's no quick fix or instant solution. I go back to that verse, Jeremiah uh, 6.14, where it says this, They treat the deep mortal wounds of my people 
with superficial treatments. And they don't even blush. They're not even ashamed at doing it. Isn't that amazing? We see it all the time. And you don't want to be that person that's taking this deep, dark wound of another person and being very superficial, uncaring, unloving. Because maybe you're the one that has a different problem that needs to be addressed. And if that's the case, why don't you call us at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. We'll help the person in your life that's depressed, and we'll help you to help them better. 1-800-NEW-LIFE. See you next time. Thank you for joining me for Going Deeper. I hope something I've said may have helped just a little bit. If you have a question you'd like me to answer or comment, just email me at stevesocial at newlife.com. I'll see you next time. If you want to support Going Deeper with Stephen Arterburn, be sure to subscribe so you never miss another episode. And if you know someone who would benefit from this episode, be sure to share it with them. See you on the next Going Deeper with Stephen Arterburn from New Life Ministries.